Like most people recently, I've been playing around with ChatGPT to see what you can sort of do with it. And I was wondering if you could ask it to help replicate film presets in Lightroom. So I'll show you what I sort of asked ChatGPT. I tried a few times and sometimes it gives you a weird answer. So I just kept the ones that actually gave me decent results. So I asked the first time, please give me the exact Lightroom values for an Agfa Optima 200 film editing style. It gives you a little disclaimer saying that it's no one size fits all, blah, blah, blah. And then it comes down and says, here are some specific values that you can use as a starting point, which is great, but it doesn't give you a whole lot of detail. So I went and asked, what about the HSL values, the hue, saturation, and luminance values? And then it gave me quite a lot of information. And then I asked again, what about split toning? And it gave me a few points here. So we're just gonna jump into Lightroom and I'll show you what these produce. So first up, the Ag for Optima. I'll probably speed through this just because it'll take a while. This is what ChatGPT created in an instant. So this is the before, after, so it's quite subtle. But those of you that know what Agfa Optima looks like, it looks quite similar. Obviously it's a good starting point. You can adjust it with the tone curve or a few of the exposure sliders if you need to. But I think just looking at this, it does definitely have that film vibe. Jumping back into ChatGPT, I also tried to emulate a couple other styles. Uh, the most popular one that is out there I know is uh, Portra 400. So I asked it again in a different way, saying that you're an expert at color grading and retouching images. You know how to edit in any style I ask. It gave me a little, little response. So then I asked for the exact settings for Kodak Portra 400. And it did all of this. It's pretty good, but it didn't give me all the values here. It's quite quite bland, not bland, quite broad. Down here it gives you real values, but up here it doesn't really tell you a whole lot. So then you just ask it, please give me the approximate values. And it's more than happy to, and it will just give you a list like this. So I'll just do this one now as well. So yeah, after playing with it for a bit, you can get something like this with the settings that it gave. I tweaked a few things here and there. And yeah, for after. I tried a few other ones like Ilford HP5, which did pretty well. I won't take you through all the steps. Um, it basically just says desaturate your image, uh, sharp, add a sharpening filter, add some film grain, and then just a standard S-curve. That looks like this. So you see the before and after. You can see how it makes it look quite old. To give that Ilford vibe. And yeah, it's nothing too detailed today. I just wanted to show you what you can do with ChatGPT. Um, I might, if I can figure out how to leave free preset downloads in the description, which would be great. Um, and yeah, have fun with it. See what sort of looks you can get ChatGPT to give you. Um, if you get any good ones, let me know. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that. And thank you.